Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in a different place. <laughs> Clearly the fairy lights are not behind me. <laughs> I am in between a lot of packing upstairs, hence why I'm down here. I will explain all in a later date, but for now, this is what we're getting. <laughs> As you can see from the title, I will be reacting to Diana Ankadinova. I haven't reacted to her in a very long time. This is her cover of Can't Help Falling In Love. I love this song, so fan already. <laughs> if you haven't watched my previous reaction to Diana, then go ahead and click the link up here. Watch it before, watch it later. Up to you. If this is your first time on my channel, then hello, I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, and I will be pausing and stopping and talking about what I'm hearing vocally. So this is a bit more of a reaction and analysis video. So if you if that is your type of thing, stay on. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified anytime I post. Let's go. Or am I meant to say, so without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> What a dress, this is fab. So many things are happening already. Like, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I love this arrangement already. It's so very different from what we do know. It's so, it's a lot darker. And her voice is complementing it so, so much. Obviously she's got this really rich, dark tone and the quality of her voice is so round and full and kind of manipulated a little bit with her larynx to get a darker vocal tract. Vocal tract being the journey from our larynx out to our lips, that little passage. We are elongating a little bit to create a darker sound. But also her musicality within the words as well. It's so smooth, so gentle as we go from one note to another. I need to listen to that again. <laughs> Even just that one line, only fools rush in. Everything's so tiny and delicate. Obviously we've got her quality that she's going, you know, with the darker sound, but put that aside. <laughs> Everything is still so smooth and gentle falling into the, into the next note, which is so good. We've got a little bit of a breathier tone as well. We'll continue playing. You can hear it down here, I'll point it out. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> the face is everything. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Obviously, you know, Diana is the queen of these dark, delicate, rich tones and this lowered kind of larynx tilted position. We can still hear that essence in here, especially the second half of that verse, but instantly we're brighter, lifted, and we've still got a lot of this tilt action happening, that cry to get us through those transitions. It's so well balanced and tiny as we go to the next note. That. Like, yes, the diction, man say, or on love as well, we don't finish on love, love, we just kind of keep it on that. That's fine, that, you know, she doesn't, her English isn't her first language, so 
but the sound that we are hearing, especially on the word man, is a little bit of a uh, kind of cry, which allows a thyroid tilt action to happen and for her to go through to that note really smoothly without any kind of yodel or breaks, because that's not what we're after in this section. It's lovely and open, right? Still with that underlining of breath. A little bit dark here. Love. this kind of it's kind of like we're almost chanting calling out um feel it's so good we had a lovely mouth shape on you really lovely and pouty and that slide really helped then as soon as we hit this note again the first half very open really lovely the second half we could really feel that soft palette risen to create an even brighter bigger space in her vocal tract in her in her tone <laughs> Right, so, whoa, <laughs> we had a lot more of a thick fold action happening here, something that we don't really hear from Diana. Like, it's, well, obviously when we're low, we do hit that, but everything's still very, very light and we've got a lot of that mixed kind of quality in there. Here, still keeping to a unique, mature tone and it's so, you know, it's a signature style, like it's so, so lovely. Having said that, all these kind of high notes are very much her as well. Like her voice can do so much. I am in awe, quite clearly. We can still hear little flips in her voice. That cry element is still there to get her through the passage, but everything's just become a little bit more dynamically louder. So that cry chord might be getting a little bit involved. We've got still that lowered kind of larynx in there. It's so good. And like, we're not saying, singing you on that part. Whereas before we were going, obviously we're not up there. Falling in love with you. She was very much kind of closed on an ooh, a small, small pouty mouth. Ooh, here, you. We're opening up a little bit to an uh sort of vowel. Because we're getting higher, oohs are nice up there, but obviously Diana opened up a little bit to an uh vowel. So she had a little bit more uh, control and freedom on that note. and very different quality from what the rest of the phrase was. We've shot up to head voice there. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch the last part one more time because I really like this wind machine. I think she had it last time as well. I can't remember, but it's really nice. This time when I play it through, really look at her arm movements. When she's belting those out, there's a little punch to the ground as well. Her arms coming out and that last you, when we shoot up to her head voice, the arms coming forward. So, that looks well scary. <laughs> I love talking about arm movements in over at my channel. They do really help. Use them in your advantage. Use them to your advantage is what I meant to say. I 
need a quick little uh, sip before I talk about that. I mean, what was once a very simple song has now changed its meaning completely. I love when uh, when performers, when vocalists, when singers, they, you know, change the song a little bit to match how they would perceive it, how they would want to tell the story. And it, it, it does, it changes the experience for everyone. I thought she looked absolutely incredible in the dress as well. And I just loved how, you know, it's very simple. It's just, she's on stage in this beautiful gown, this, uh, her microphone, there's the wind blowing, and then it's just her voice. It's so good. I say this all the time, but explore your voice. Your voice is unique to you. Keep exploring that and see what wonderful things you find. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, the bell button, and the thumbs up button. Leave me any comments in the comment section below. I'll get back to you, or I will try, and I'll see you very soon for another video.